Our brains do an excellent job constructing data from our senses to form each and every moment of our day. But how does the mind deal with audiovisual information which is too quick for the subconscious to interpret? Dude, this is fucking crazy. I cannot even believe what I'm seeing right now. Oh my god, I can't believe Wow. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my god. Like that. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Now I know how you did it for 20 minutes! <laughs> I can't describe that fast enough. There's a knob right here. There's a knob that you can turn. And there's sw switches you can Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the? When I blink, whenever I blink, it's just a hardcore red. When I blink, I can see a really technical grid pattern of red and blue. Looks like a circuit board. Oh my god, I can't believe, I can't believe how many colors that I'm seeing through my eyelid right now. It doesn't even make sense. And now they're in triangles, alternating, like a soccer ball pattern almost. I'm seeing a symmetrical six-sided star spinning. I just closed my eyes. I'm closing my eyes right now. My eyes are closed. And it's even crazier through my eyelids. It's nuts. <laughs> I'm awesome, dude. All right, I'm done. Too much. These goggles were designed to study the way our brains interpret signals from our eyes. The control module is designed to be held like a video game controller. It has six points of interaction. Main power variable flash rate, and four intensity multipliers, times two, times four, times four, and times eight, which can be turned on additively to whatever intensity level the user is comfortable with. Different intensity levels have a very different effect on the way the eyes and the brain see the flashes. The triggering circuit is nothing but a potentiometer feeding voltage into a storage capacitor. When that capacitor reaches a high enough potential, the energy is discharged through this evacuated glass tube and into these trigger transformers. Now, uh, the way this system is designed to be used, you place headphones on and you can't hear the pulse. But if you still wish to know what speed it's firing at, this inductor on the side allows you to feel each time it fires with the palm of your hand. It runs off 120 volts and 60 hertz. Unfortunately not wireless, but nevertheless very effective. I have a theory on why these goggles work. That is, as our eyes and brains begin to develop, the trillions of optic nerve fibers inside of our eyes find their path to the visual cortex through the optic nerves, but not all nerve fibers are created equal. The nerve fibers are spread to large areas of the visual cortex to be processed, and thusly, there are tiny time variations between when light strikes each separate nerve fiber and when the separate signals will be combined by the visual cortex into a single image. Basically, the trillions of signals from each nerve fiber will be out of sync. When quick, short flashes of light enter the eye, the visual cortex won't have enough information to form a complete image before the flash is over, and it will be left to the rest of the mind to interpret this broken image data into something that makes sense. It's by these means that we get a glimpse into just how our minds truly interpret data transmitted by our eyes. And we learn that things like identifying color, parallax corrections, stereo combination into 3D imagery, and even depth perception are all just tricks of the mind to make sense of the world that we see. People see greens, purples, blues, uh, quite a myriad of different effects. This is a sketch of what one of the patterns looks like. This is a sketch of uh, another one that I see, of course, these are different for every single person. It's your imagination forming these uh, patterns and colors.